guys in the pan. Welcome to my channel, which is Complemental Economics. And today's class it's about the short-term supply curve of a firm. So before talking about it, so I have to explain you about supply theory, the law of supply. The law of supply talks about the relationship between price and supply by keeping all the other determinants constant. All the other determinants are constant. The only two variables which we are going to consider that is price and the supply. What exactly the behavior functional? The relationship between the price and supply. If price is increasing, supply will also increase. If price decreases, supply is also going to in increase. Sorry, price increases, supply also increases. Price decreases, supply is also going to decrease. So both the variables which we have taken here, both the variables are moving in the same direction. So the theoretical, the functional relationship between the two variables, it is positive. So when the two variables are having a positive relationship, how exactly the diagrammatic presentation we have to do? So you can see x axis and the y axis, the supply theory it will be positive in nature, it will be upward moving. So this, this is the way how exactly the supply curve will be there and this is the law of supply. So to understand this particular theory, you need supply theory. So that's why I have explained it. But there is no need to explain in the exam. So you have to write when we are going to come to this diagram. That time you need supply topic. Otherwise, till here this all concept, we do not need it. But just a basic, keep it in a mindset. This is the supply theory, how exactly it works like and looks like how exactly the curves are. So now, the short run supply curve of a firm, to prove this, we have two cases. The two cases are, the first case talks about the price should be equal to ABC, otherwise greater than ABC. So same, simple, uh, the simple explanation what we have, so I have classified that P should be equal to ABC, otherwise P should be greater than ABC. So this is the first case. And we have the second case. The second case is P is lesser than ABC. So it says P2 is okay. I will consider the same and I am going to come here. The two cases you have. The case number one says P should be equal to ABC. Otherwise P should be greater than ABC. In this situation you have no profit, no loss situation. The situation P is equal to ABC. The situation is no profit. No loss situation, that means firm is not going to make any profit at the same time, they are not going to lose anything. If I am investing 10 rupees, I will get back 10 rupees, but yeah, the profit wise if I am talking about, I have no profit at the same time, I do not have any, I am not losing money also. In this situation, definitely a firm can successfully uh, run their business. So, P is lesser than ABC, sorry, P is greater than ABC. When price is greater than average variable cost, so that time firm is going to make a good profit. The firm is going to make good profit in that situation. So the next one here we are going to talk about. So let me go with the uh, diagram, the first case diagram. The first case says P should be equal to ABC, otherwise P should be greater than ABC. So let's go with that now. In this diagram, you have x-axis and the y-axis. In the x-axis, you have output. Y-axis, you have price and cost both. SMC is short-run marginal cost. SAC is short-run average cost. ABC is average variable cost. So these all costs you have to remember. So we have studied this in the third uh, and the fourth chapter. So, so you have to remember these all basic concepts which you already know short run cost we have studied about this is a short run uh, short run theory so we are discussing about short run cost fine so here in the x axis you have output i said q1 is definitely considered as a cost when it comes to price you have two different prices p1 and p2 so we are going to talk about p1 and p2 so let's talk about the p1 so here is a p1 so before talking about this, you have to, uh, before seeing it, before understanding this, you have to see my exact previous videos. So where I have discussed, uh, for the profit maximization, any firm we are having uh, anywhere, so anywhere they started with any kind of a firm. 
firm so to successfully run that and to get more profit they have to come with some of the conditions if they're going to fulfill those conditions so then profit maximization is really possible what are those three conditions of the first condition says p should be equal to mc wherever you'll see p if mc is equal to any point of time so that is the one thing mc must be not decreasing that means it should not decrease it should increase at any point in the short run p should be greater than abc in the long run p should be greater than ac so as of now we have to ignore long run because right now we are talking about short run theory so long run p should be greater than ac that topic we are going to ignore so short run p should be greater than abc we are going to keep it that in the mind now so now we will prove that all conditions whether succeeded or not before going to the next topic at p1 first let's consider the p1 in the p1 are we going to uh, confirm all the three conditions first p is equal to mc so this is the mc curve smc is nothing but short run marginal cost so this is the mc curve it's equal to and this point also so we are done with the first condition yes p is equal to mc in two different points then mc must be non decreasing at q0 so that means if mc is decreasing here so we going to not going to consider this here mc is increasing so we going to consider this point and this point you cannot consider because here mc is it's towards the downside so mc must be non decreasing so it is a decreasing here so you cannot consider this point so you have to consider only this point two conditions we are done with the third condition says short run p should be greater than abc the third condition price is here that means in this particular horizontal line will be a price line as you already know if this is a price line so what we are seeing is abc curve minimum abc curve is here abc curve can you see the minimum abc is here SMC price line is here. Minimum ABC is here. Any of this point. Minimum ABC is this point, and price is this point. Which one is the greater? So definitely price is greater than ABC. Minimum ABC we call it as minimum ABC. So definitely in this one, price is greater than the minimum ABC because minimum the minimum is the least point of the ABC. It is here in the stretch. So that's why. price definitely is greater than the minimum abc that means for the p1 in this we fulfill all the three conditions p is equal to mc yes p must uh, mc must be non decreasing yes short run p should be greater than abc yes is abc is here and price is here so definitely we fulfill all the three conditions because of that so definitely profit maximization is possible so the price p1 is the best price and the what this is the quantity we are supplying in it q1 quantity we are supplying when you have a profit maximization we fulfill all the three conditions to get a, a good profit in that what is the quantity we are ready to supply we are ready to supply the quantity which is q1 fine so now So we are done with the case one. P is equal to ABC. Otherwise, P is greater than ABC. So P is not equal to ABC in this situation. P is greater than ABC. It's our situation. P is not equal here. P is greater than ABC. Okay. So definitely you have a profit maximization situation. So let's go with the case two. What case two says? The case two says P should be lesser than ABC a minimum ABC. So now we are already done with the P1. We have agreed P1 is fulfilling all the three conditions. So we are done with it. So what about the P2 here? We have a P2. P2 first of all, are we fulfilling the first condition? P should be equal to MC. Did we fulfill the condition? No. P2 in this MC should not be. a uh, non decreasing mc curve is not at all there how it's going to decrease and p should be greater than minimum abc but abc is here p is here which one is the greater one so definitely abc price is lesser than abc in 
the situation price is this one i'm considered only p2 in the case 2 i'm considering the p2 not the p1 so because in the condition 1 case 1 i have considered p1 so the, for the case 2 i'm considering p2 so in the p2 what we are seeing is price line is here sorry uh, abc curve is here minimum point is this and price is here so definitely price is lesser than abc curve so in this situation firm is going to face a loss situation the firm is going to face a loss so definitely p2 is not the correct price it is not the correct price if p2 is not the correct price what the quantity we are going to supply the quantity what we are going to supply it will be zero so we are not ready to supply anything when price is p2 p1 we are ready because we fulfilled all the three conditions so we are supplying q1 but in p2 when the price is p2 in the price when it is actually p2 so we are not fulfilling not even a single condition of the profit maximization so definitely it is a loss situation for the firm so if it's a loss definitely a firm any industry any company they are not willing to produce anything so the production your yeah, output it will be zero so the quantity what they are supplying definitely it will be zero that means they are not producing anything they are not ready to supply anything when the price is p2 clear we are done with done with one diagram with the two cases so then we have one more diagram here so the diagram talks about exactly the same curves yes so in this one what situation we can see is this price is equal to abc yes we have already discussed this so now in the x axis you have output y axis you have cost and price smc is short run marginal cost sac is short run average cost AVC is average variable cost. In the x-axis you have output. Can you see this line? So you can go with a dotted line. You can consider this as a dotted line. So if you have a dotted line this. You can see here. SMC from the below it is going to cut the ABC at this point. In this point. AVC is equal to SMC. They both are at the same point. Can you see this? SMC curve is equal to ABC curve. If ABC is equal to SMC curve. In this point, so no profit, no loss situation. That means firm is not going to get any money at the same time. They are not going to lose anything. Below this, below this point, if this is a price, they are okay with. If this is a price, we are okay with. Below this price, you, know, you can see the bold line which is very much dark. Below minimum ABC, you can say below minimum abc the output will be zero we are not ready to produce anything because below minimum abc definitely it is a loss firm cannot in the short run in the long run they can bear the loss but in the short run firms they have just started new established firms they are two years three years so in this very short period they cannot face any kind of losses because of that when ABC at its minimum point, this is the last they're going to supply. If any price comes below this ABC point, this is the minimum ABC, this is the minimum price what they can fix. Below this, so it will be a loss situation. This area what you are seeing, that will be a loss. So definitely there are any price fixes in the market in this price, in the bold one. So they are not going to produce anything. So in this, output will be zero. The same situation with the P2. In this one, they are not ready to supply anything because it is below the ABC. Can you see ABC is here? The both are intersected here in this point. So in this point, below this, any price, it is not possible. For them, it is a loss. If I construct equal to this line, so the price will be equal to ABC. Here, price is greater than ABC. Is that clear? At the same time, in this concept, we have to talk about one more bold line what you have. The bold line what you are seeing, continuously I am talking about supplying, we are supplying, we are not supplying. So where is exactly the supply curve? So in the short run, in the long run, the SMC curve when it is increasing, after intersection of with the ABC, when SMC is going to cut the ABC after this point, that 
SMC when it is raising that will be considered as supply curve also. This is supply curve also. That's why we say SMC the bold line what we are seeing which is a raising part that is not only SMC short and marginal not, not only SMC at the same time that will be a supply curve also. See can you see the supply curve? So if it's a SMC curve so that is also going to come like this. Supply curve is also going to come like that. So that's why they both shape are very much same, similar. It moves together. So that's why after this point, the bold line what we have, it is not only a shortened uh, marginal cost. At the same time, it is also a part of supply curve also. So now we have concluded this. There are three chances are there. Firm is going to make profit. Second situation, no profit, no loss, they are not going to get anything, they are not going to lose anything. The third situation, loss situation. If you go with this, in this point, in the P1, if the price is P1, the firm is going to make, price will be greater than ABC. So this will be a profit situation. If the price is P2, so in this price is lesser than ABC, so they are going to lose money. When? ABC is equal to SMC. So that means that is no profit, no loss situation. So below this, any price will be fixed that will be a loss. So that's the reason why below this, here P2 is there. If you see here, P2 is a loss situation because it is a below minimum ABC. So thank you so much. So I'll be meeting you guys with the next class. Thank you so much.